Yo, so what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then let me introduce myself first. I am Gabriel Manuel, I make videos about personal growth, finance, investing, and crypto. I also upload university vlogs and interviews people from all walks of life. Interesting? Then like my videos, click that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for you to stay updated. Alright, let's begin. Hi, my name is Gabriel Manuel, a 21-year-old student from the University of the Philippines, Visayas, taking BS Chemical Engineering, and currently I am on my third year now. I am the proud founder of Rich Farmer Industries, which is a technology-based startup organization. Our main goal is to come up solutions to agricultural problems and needs in forms of inventions and low-cost technology. One of our initiatives is the Money in Dayame project wherein we buy rice straws from our local Filipino farmers. You know, after harvest, rice straws are either piled up and left in the field to compost or being burned by the farmers. Both ways are harmful in the environment and to us human beings as well. This is because when rice straws are left, it emits methane, which is a harmful chemical. And on the other hand, naman, kapag ito ay sinusunog, ito ay nagre-release ng mga fine particles that could harm the environment and could harm the nearby communities and the people living in it as well. So what we do is that we buy the dayami and the farmers for around 2 to 3 pesos per kilo, no? And I'm happy to say that other farmers, you know what, they're generous enough to just give the dayami to us. You know, they say na, Sir, kailangan nyo to sir sa proyekto nyo, sir. Okay lang sir, kunin nyo. Hindi nyo na po kami kailangan bayaran. So, yun nga, um, we try to meet in between with the farmers because we are the ones who needs the dayami for this project and you know what the farmers really wants to get rid of the dayami as soon as possible since like it takes so much space in their farmlands ever since i was a kid i really love to watch documentaries especially in related to agricultural technologies I also grew up in a rural community wherein farming is the main source of living. So fast forward today, so I'm now a third year college student taking chemical engineering. So my mind is like parang nabuksan talaga with this amazing thoughts that you know involves about chemicals and engineering technologies. So ayun, uh, the Money in the Yami project was born. It all started with this Indian ad that I come across with while browsing the internet. I really love to watch videos kasi sa YouTube during my free time. So, so I said, wait, parang maganda to technology na to ah. And parang wala to sa amin. So, feel ko maganda tong itry. So, I searched the web and did some research talaga about this technology and I found out na ang ganda talaga and napaka-promising ng technology na to. Wait, um, first of all, it's not your, no? Um, hindi ko inaangkin ng teknolohiyang ito. I just improved it and make it available here in the Philippines, especially in my community. So, basically, what we do is to buy rice straws, which is the byproduct of rice production. So, yun nga, no? Farmers really wants to get rid of this dayami as soon as possible kasi it takes so much space. You know, a one kilo milled rice is equivalent to 1.2 kilos of dayami. So, medyo marami-rami yung byproduct ng kanin na hinahain natin sa ating mga pagkainan. Anyway, after buying the dayami for 2 to 3 pesos per kilo, dadali na namin ito sa aming processing unit which is medyo isolated siya. In the processing unit, these dayamis are being chopped into very small pieces and then nilalagyan namin ito ng mainit na tubig. In our processing unit, we really try our best to avoid putting chemicals that might react to the dayami. Kasi 
baka ibis na makatulong kami sa kalikasan, eh, mas nasisira pa natin ito. After namin buhusan yan ng mainit na tubig, we let it boil for about 4 to 5 hours. So, after 5 hours of boiling this um, dayami, lininis natin ito, tsaka pinapatuyo natin to get this dayami pulp. So, we usually hire the same farmers rin no, na binibilhan namin ng dayami or hinihinga namin ng dayami. If not them, then usually yung mga kamag-anak nila or yung mga anak nila, parang ganun. Um, we conduct free seminars and trainings for them to share our knowledge about this technology. With that, kasi we're not just helping the environment, we're not just helping the farmers in getting rid of this um, dayami sa palaya nila, but we also help them by providing additional work para sa kanila, especially kung hindi pa planting season ng palay. Actually, this pulp, this dayami pulp, is one of the raw materials in making biodegradable packages. However, um, these machines that are used in making these packages are quite expensive and as of now, hindi pa natin yun afford. So what we do is like we export this dayami pal to India and to other neighboring countries na kung saan readily available na sa kanila yung mga machineries to produce biodegradable packages. Kung pagpalain tayo ng Panginoon, eh, gusto nating makita yung kumpanya natin na mag-prosper talaga, mag-bloom talaga. Maybe in the next five years, I'd say, sana meron na tayong machineries, you know. Sana we're capable na to make this biodegradable packages na. We don't need to export our dayami pulp to India, to other neighboring countries, kasi meron na tayong teknolohiya, meron na tayong makinarya dito sa Pilipinas mismo. And um, I don't know, it's a dream kasi na makita sa bottom ng packaging na yun na proudly made in the Philippines, 100% biodegradable, environment friendly. Parang ganun. You know, think of it this way na lang na every time makakareceive ka ng parcels mo from Lazada or from Shopee, eh, instead of naka-plastic siya, naka-bubble wrap siya, eh, made of na siya ng biodegradable materials. Especially, the yummy. Parang ganun. Like, dude, basura lang yan, pero ang ganda ng packaging na to. So, parang ganun. That's our goal. And sana yun nga, pagpalain tayo ng Panginoon na makamit natin yan in five years. Or, kung sana less than five years, magawa na natin yan. Unang-una, I'd like to say thank you, no? Um, maraming salamat talaga for letting me share this knowledge sa lahat ng viewers natin. So, if you guys know a farmer na pwede natin tulungan, or if you guys want to, you know, help fund our Money in the Yami project, then feel free to email me at inquire.gab at gmail.com or directly message me at my official Facebook account, which is Gabriel Manuel. Maraming salamat po talaga sa pakikinig at sa panunood and lagi natin tandaan. There's always money in the yummy. Yo guys, just to clarify things up that um, this video is a requirement sa major ko na subject and why I upload it here in my um, official channel is that um, napagtanto ko kasi na medyo related siya for like um, an entrepreneur, you know, and making money. So yeah, that's it. Anyway, if you learn or if you enjoy this video, then leave a thumbs up, um, comment something, or like kumay katanungan kayo. Yeah, hanggang sa muli, paalam kasi 10 minutes lang yung <laughs> maximum nito and I don't know kung nalalagpas na tayo or hindi. Paalam!